here with another product review. Um, so basically, if you're anything like me, my hair can get pretty oily in just like, I don't know, two days. Now, I've been told by hairdressers that you really shouldn't wash your hair more than like around twice a week because you're going to um, strip your hair from its natural oils and it's just going to make it dry and, you know. Um, so, yeah, I wash my hair about two times a week, but obviously it's not enough to keep it oil free and really clean. So I was actually looking for um, a solution to this and one of the best uh, products like that had the best reviews was the Batiste dry shampoo. Now there's different variations. So this is what it is. Um, you can actually get ones with even brown spray. Basically, um, this one is the extra, extra large volume dry shampoo and it's 200 mils. This isn't a colored one. So it's normal white spray. And I know some people are scared of that. And actually, a few years ago, I first tried uh, dry shampoo and I just pretty much gave it away after like one use because I freaked out and I didn't want to keep rubbing that white stuff in my hair. I thought, oh my goodness, it's going to make it more oily or I'm going to look like I've got dandruff. So now that I'm older and more mature, I thought I'd give it another try since everyone's like, oh no, it's really good on Amazon. So I have actually kept my hair oily. So I'll show you what my hair looks like. It's probably not at its worst, but you can tell that it's, well, I can tell it's oily. I don't know if you can see in cameras, but there's like oil all through there. And it kind of makes my hair look really bad. Like I look like a sheep dog because it's sort of slicked, oil slicked down the top of my hair and it's really flat. Now this actually gives you volume because it's extra, extra large volume on top of cleaning your hair and making it look like you've just washed your hair. So I can tell you it actually is pretty good. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a spray, 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 sorry, a shake, shake, shake. By the way, they say, don't just try and brush it through. Cause yeah, you're going to end up looking like you've got dandruff with white spots. You got to actually wash it through. Like you're actually showering, and washing your hair. All right, ready? And I'm gonna put heaps on just for this demo. So, watch this. Heaps of white stuff. I know you're supposed to put it where your roots are, but you know, you can probably tell from my other videos, I'm one of those lazy quick fix people. So, so if this works for someone as bad as me using it the wrong way, it's gonna work way better if you just do your roots and you do it properly. So look, I look like Cruella de Vil right now with the black and the white. Yeah? Alright, check this out. I might need to look in the mirror sometime. Sorry, people. So I can see what I'm doing. Just give it a quick shampoo. Basically, shampoo. So, there's not really any oil there anymore. I don't know if you can see, but you can't really see any dandruffy bits, can you? Let me just check. I've covered it all. It's best to get someone to double check before you walk out, I suppose. But, um, like, I'm being pretty rough with it. And you're supposed to be, and it doesn't make it more oily. That was my fear when I tried it a few years ago. It actually feels really dry now, like dry, dry. Not as bad as hairspray, but dry. So now, also, look at the volume it's created in the top of my hair. I mean, it's not styled very well, but the volume in the top of my hair. Look at that. Pretty good. If I liked my hair to look like that. But yeah, it gives you lots of volume. So if you style it properly afterwards, like the ends of your hair, so you got your hair not looking oily, it smells good. Um, 
and your hair doesn't feel oily, it feels dry. Um, you don't look like you've got dandruff. You can't tell you've put something in your hair um, and you've got that big volume at the top of your hair. So, uh, do I recommend it? I'm, I was a skeptic, but yeah, I do and I do use it. So, if you'd like to keep up to date with more of my product reviews, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, DF Product Reviews, and give this video a like. Till next time, ciao.